Live in Shadowmere Studios, it's the Tonky Box Podcast. Takes a licking, keeps on ticking. <laughs> That's that's what? the that's the one you went with. Yeah. All right. I mean, it goes with the theme of the picture. Yep. <laughs> ah! <laughs> uh, I do want to thank uh, Jeremy and and also Jackie because uh, they're the ones who always do the pictures on the board and everything, um, or most of the time. I think I think Jason or Justin have done one or two, but uh, I appreciate it. Mm-hmm. Um, I don't always get it. <laughs> Let's just hope I don't run out of uh, stupid things to have as a reference. I'm sure with the internet that won't be a problem. Like the Mantar. <laughs> <laughs> Mantar. Um, so I get to brag on Kate because Kate, uh, was it last week, did uh, something that I think a lot of people want to do and then never mm-hmm. do. And that is Kate did her very first ever stand-up comedy show. Um, and fucking killed it. Like, she, yeah. you did awesome. It was awesome. Thank you. Um, Thank you. So, Brandon and I were both there. Oh, yeah. Uh, I'm Dave, your host. Uh, <laughs> and we have the, tonight Kate. Hi, Kate. And Brander. And Jeremy Adam. Mm-hmm. And when I say your name, you're supposed to say something because there's also an audio podcast. Oh, okay. So yeah. Brander. Uh, woo. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Please, just Jeremy's grown is enough, on. I guess. Yeah. I used to be like the guy fratting it up over here. Yeah! <laughs> Let's do this! So, Kate, tell us about your comedy in this. Oh, um, I don't know. Where do you want me to start with that? I did it! You sure did. Yeah. What, uh, what led you to wanting to do that? Uh, you know, I kind of always have loved stand-up, and mm-hmm. I started writing jokes at a pretty early age, and I would just kind of go and test them out on people. Like yeah. customers who unfortunately <laughs> sat in my section. I was like, oh, you're here. I have <laughs> to serve you. Audience. Be subject. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, literally captive audience. Yeah. Sometimes if you want I would. Your food, uh... You have to laugh. <laughs> <laughs> it comes out faster the harder you laugh. Yeah. <laughs> didn't, didn't like that one. Oh, Do you okay, want these time. biscuits? <laughs> what do these biscuits mean to you? Yeah. Um, so I would kind of tell jokes on them, and I'd try it out on coworkers. And um, I don't know, for a while it was just something I liked to do. Yeah. And I guess I always dreamed of doing stand-up, but it was never anything that I really had a way to get into, and I didn't really know how. Right. Um, and then a previous manager uh, heard me telling a joke one day, and he pulled me aside. And it was a really inappropriate joke. Mm. I don't remember what it was, but it was inappropriate enough for me to be like, oh, fuck, this is the day I get fired. Yeah. You <laughs> and thought you were in trouble. I thought I was in huge trouble, because I was in the break room, and I'm like, I was... The break room still probably it was on country fresh and that's yeah. like a whole thing at my old job they're like keep it country fresh and so none of like, us yeah. work there anymore we can probably say where it is yeah yeah i want i feel like i yeah. think we're, we're all pretty good on that yeah all right i worked at cracker barrel um and i don't anymore yeah because she's a famous comedian <laughs> yeah like that's we all used to work everybody yeah. here except for jamie except adam for used jeremy. to work at cracker barrel but we've all worked in the restaurant business oh, yeah. so but yeah i was just uh shooting the shit with some coworkers, telling a joke and my manager you know, I was like, hey, uh, can I talk to you for a minute? And I totally thought I was in trouble. Mm-hmm. And so he pulled me into the office, and he was like, do you do that a lot? Like, was that, you know, did any of that happen? I was like, no, complete bullshit. <laughs> like, And he was like, do you, what are you doing with that? I was like, uh, nothing, just uh, entertaining the masses. Mm-hmm. I don't know. This is a thing I do. And he was like, have you ever thought of, like, being a comedian or going anywhere with that? I was like, yeah, only every day of my life. Like, <laughs> <laughs> And yeah. he was like, okay, so what are you doing to do that? I was like, I don't know. And he's like, well, I know someone. And so he gave me his number. And six months later, I met the guy. And uh, he was really awesome. I thought, you know, I just thought I was going to go meet him, get some pointers on how to, yeah. you know, get into the business and how to um, make my comedy better. And he was like, no, let's put you in the show. And it was awesome. It was scary. It was mm-hmm. really scary, but it was really awesome. Yeah. So it was, we, we all went up to Canton, Georgia. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And it was at a brewery. What was the name of the brewery? Uh, the Green Line. The Green, Green Line, Line brewery, brewery in Canton. And this place is not set up to have any kind of live act at all. Like any any entertainment of a live yeah, variety should it was not just be this, happening at the Green Line. It was this the great it, brewery, good beer. Yeah. It was like they took, there was two <laughs> buildings and they just walled off the alley, <laughs> is what it's like, because it was yeah. so narrow in there. <laughs> It is very um, quaint, but it's cute. It was a it was a nice place. I enjoyed I enjoyed the the burger that I had, the beer that I had. It was great. Yeah. Um, but uh, it it just was not set up. They didn't have a no. stage or anything. It was no. like they well, put like, a speaker in a corner. 
<laughs> not even the corner. It was like right next to the door. So like anytime anybody walked in or out of the bar, yeah. like the comedian had a, oh, hey, yeah, welcome. Hey. Yeah. Come on in. Which actually happened to me in my act. I'm like, oh, yeah, sweetheart, yes. Yeah, take yeah, a seat. Like right at the beginning yeah. of your act. And we actually have video of it. And we'll post it up on the on the page and, and, uh, and the YouTube so that uh, people can see excuse me, how great you did. Because yeah. um, it was, there was, there was 11 comedians, including you mm-hmm. and the host. Um, who was amazing. Were, uh, and he's the one who put me in the show. I yeah, just want to say a shout yeah, out to Clint. Yeah, great. You're um, awesome. Thank you. But you were better than a lot of the guys yeah. that went up there. Like, and you were the only, the only woman to do it. I was, yeah, the only girl. There was supposed to be another girl there, but at the last minute she canceled, which was kind of bittersweet. At the one hand, I was like, oh, sweet. Because, you know, if I'm the only, mm-hmm. if there's one other girl, that's who I'm going to be compared to, yeah. no matter what I do. But at the same time, I really would have liked to meet her and see mm-hmm. her style because I'm always, you know, yeah. intrigued. But maybe next time. And the and the only people and I'm not saying this is as, as anything bad about you, but there were a couple of people who were better than you. Yeah. But and they've been doing it for a long time. Yeah. And and both of those guys who who were really good came to you and were like, "Hey, that was fantastic." Mm-hmm. That was a really really awesome feeling. Yeah. Um, because I respected them, and I was in fact intimidated by um, the guy who went just before me. Mm-hmm. I was like, I have to follow that. Like, no. immediately started chugging my beer. <laughs> but then afterwards, I, I can't remember his name, but he was he was hilarious, he was really and he was he reminded yeah. me a lot of like he was an older guy, and, and he reminded mm-hmm. me a lot of like Eddie Eddie Murphy and Richard Pryor. Like mm-hmm. those are obvious influences on this yeah. guy, and he's actually uh, apparently making him a name for himself already. Mm-hmm. Um, he produced a movie. Yeah, he recently produced a movie that I think you can find on Amazon mm-hmm. called it's like Gale of the Storm, I believe. Something like that. And I want to say. I know We're really prepared for this. <laughs> yeah. I'm friends with him on Facebook, but I'm still having trouble with names. Yeah. I know his last name is Muhammad. He's, he was really good. Mm-hmm. He was really good. And so was the headliner, uh, Will Foskey. Mm-hmm. I yeah, he really, was great. I really liked his bit about the house fire. <laughs> <It's open laughs> it just cracked me you d- up. You definitely crushed a few like souls with some of the folks. I think they've been doing it for a while. Yeah. <laughs> like, like, you were pretty good, mm-hmm. but then there was like some folks I think have been doing it for a while that like... You obviously had like a bit, like stage presence a little bit, and that's probably from a little bit of you know your your presence, like doing the the serving thing, maybe. Maybe. Maybe yeah. like every t- you know, owning that table, owning that like space. Maybe that's it. But it was great, and uh, obviously you'll be able to watch it. I it should go up at the same time as this video, so people should be able to see it pretty soon and see how great you did. And you have another show coming up. Yeah, right. uh, I am performing at the Green Line again, mm-hmm. August 24th. And so. this video might be up before that happens. Maybe. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> we'll see. Um, so. Come so. out and see me if you want, you know. Wait, when is it? August 4th? August 24th. 24th. Yeah. yeah. Okay. All right, yeah, cool. So, what else has been going on? No. <laughs> Just working and uh, and living, yeah. right? Yeah. Slave to the, uh, the corporate world, doing yeah. that thing. Brander actually had something really funny. I thought it was hilarious uh, at work. The the delivery. Oh, I know where you're talking about that. <laughs> <laughs> no, we do. We just play games at work. <laughs> a That's little bit. Pretty great. So sometimes, like our elevators go out, and like we order from a bunch of um, delivery places. Yeah. To see who can who will like win this like flight up the stairs, <laughs> and like we usually put notes like, "Hey, we'll give you a big tip if you're the first. Yeah. Except we're on the twenty first floor, oh so my like God. most of the time the food doesn't make it. Oh. <laughs> How often do the elevators go out in your building? Not often. It's like, just the once. Okay. Yeah, just the once. Okay. But, like once is enough. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, yeah. No, okay. There might have been like there was definitely some food that didn't make it to the office that was in the stairwell still. <laughs> They just it, put it down and left. I would say like and then like just just put it down. Yeah. There's more of a like let's paint the walls. Oh like, my <laughs> god! Like yeah, we're definitely like some people found their true calling that day. Like they're like, all right, we're kind of done with this. Yeah, <laughs> let's move on to the next job. <laughs> uh, this is the last flight of stairs I walk up ever oh, again. Wow. Yeah. That's That's great. <laughs> so were, they, were they in the stairs at the same time? Like. Racing uh, yeah, yeah, like, like, you could definitely hit it because we did, like obviously we tipped everybody well. Like it wasn't like yeah, yeah. like we didn't want you know for the spirit of competition you know like you're not gonna put that out immediately. So there's definitely like some like yelling and hollering. Actually, this elder started working again while they're in the stairwell. So I actually left to go get food because my t- mine, mine wasn't one of the ones that was gonna make it. Yeah. <laughs> so I don't know like I don't exactly know how it ended. I do know 
that like on the in the lobby on the way back, like one of the one of the workers was like <laughs> that I know. She's like, oh my god, there's pizza all over the stairwell. <laughs> yeah, you never believe it. I don't know what's going on today. <laughs> I was like, oh, that's crazy. <laughs> uh, I know nothing about this. <laughs> that's great. There was uh, a buddy of mine started uh, working in a new office recently, and he posted on Facebook this like interaction that happened. Yeah. Uh, on one of his first days, like first second day or something like that, and uh, he's just sitting there in his in his cubicle, and he hears from the next cubicle over like, "Ow, <laughs> dude, it's not even noon yet," <laughs> and then he hears, like from across the office is, "It's high noon," <laughs> <laughs> and the Nerf war had begun. <laughs> That's amazing. Oh, that that is fantastic. <laughs> I, I need to work in an environment like that. Yeah, it's just. Oh yeah, it's kind of it's kind of, it's kind of where it's at. We do uh, we do shots fired Friday too. Right. We're just like you just all like all day Friday. We just say the meanest things we can to each other <laughs> and try to get people to like just just to break a little bit. Yeah. Um, like every once in a while, somebody in a different department will kind of walk through our section. Right, and just, they don't know what's going on. <laughs> <laughs> no. Yeah. But no, yeah, I think that, I think we need to incorporate the Nerf High Noon into that now. Shots fired Friday with yeah. real shots. With real shots. <laughs> <laughs> Or you can go a different way and, and just get drunk. God, that's shots fired. Shots fired, shots yeah. fired Friday. Yeah. Getting fired because you did the shots. Yeah, that's exactly how it works. <laughs> <laughs> Unless you have a cool manager. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, uh, anybody see Ant Man and Wasp? Yeah, yeah that was no. actually. I thought it was pretty good. You haven't seen it. I haven't seen it yet. He saw it without you. Well, you know, I got brothers. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> <All right. laughs> What'd you guys think? I thought it was good. Yeah. Like, I was a. Uh, big fan of the first Ant-Man because mm -hmm. like I didn't know anything about that going in so I'm like okay my friend invited me to go see it I'll go see it and I left and like oh my god that was amazing yeah. so like I kind of held the second one up to like those standards yeah. and I was not disappointed in that right absolutely well I love the first one just because it wasn't your typical superhero it was uh, mm -hmm. it was like the it heist, heist yeah it was yeah. a heist movie and then this one they, they followed suit it definitely still wasn't your typical right superhero mm -hmm. movie he, he does his own thing it's definitely like this one was a lot more family. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Family and, oriented. And, yeah. It was it was a family movie that was also about family. Mm -hmm. um, but still not your typical superhero movie. No. And, I, and I, I'd always appreciate that when they can get out of that that bubble and try to make something their own. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Well, and two, you've got, you know, I think for me, I don't know anything about Ant-Man. And it's not a character I think had grown up I ever really loved. <laughs> right. You know, but... And you know, all I ever knew was Hank Pym's not a nice guy. Like yeah. he does bad yeah. things in the comics. Like he's kind of a douche. But then they, you know, the whole new Scott Lang. Mm -hmm. It's it's they've definitely made it a character I can I love and enjoy. It's like it's it's a, it's a part of the universe now. I'm like, all right, hey, actually, Eggman's not that bad. Yeah, I think. Uh, I mean, in the it. I know in the in the original comic, yeah. uh, Hank Pym was uh, a bit of an abuser mm -hmm. to his wife Janet. Um, and I like that they went with Scott Lang. Yeah. In this one, instead of that, but I also like they did keep Hank Pym and Janet as part of it, and obviously they, I don't, you know, hopefully we don't have to see any of that, yeah, um, horribleness that that's from the comics and everything. But mm -hmm. um, oh, I do like owning, it. and I doubt it. You know, do what with Disney owning? Oh yeah, and I doubt it. Yeah. And the way they set it up in you know Ant Man and Wasp, it does mm -hmm. not seem like it's that kind of right relationship. Yeah, it seemed like they were a very good couple together and mm -hmm. everything, and they loved each other very much. I think that's but something we should definitely walk away from from like. Let's just Absolutely. go ahead and take that. <laughs> take the better path on that one. Like, so I understand some canon. We can. I think we can mm -hmm. let go. And I think that's I understand canon. having it in the comics. Yeah, because that's one thing that I feel like Marvel's always done is they've always addressed the, these different topics and mm -hmm. stuff. When it like obviously with them, you you have the domestic abuse, you have uh, prejudice and stuff. When it comes to X Men, uh, anger management with Hulk. Yeah. yeah, Tony Stark and his alcoholism. Um, Every, so everybody's always got that that dark piece or that mm -hmm. that piece that they struggle with, you know. Like even even Spider Man just being like a poor kid who's, yeah. who's like lost family and things like that and lo the loss. And, but yeah, that I think is what makes Marvel so great, you know. Where I always had a problem like you connecting with say like a Superman mm -hmm. who I don't know what Kryptonite's his weakness. Like yeah. everything else, he's elements. just awesome at. <laughs> like, <laughs> I said, there's just not a lot of human elements in a lot of DC comics. Yeah. I mean, they've done a lot better in, in recent years, especially yeah. with some of the new Wonder Woman arcs. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, I agree. Speaking, speaking of DC, I recently 
one of our roommates, Jarrett, just saw the Teen Titans Go movie. Oh, oh yeah? And yeah. he said it was actually really, really good. Really? Um, yeah. Apparently, it pokes fun at themselves. It pokes fun at DC. It pokes fun at Marvel and Stan Lee and, like, nice. everything. Um, he says that they go so far as, like, talk about how... I think Wonder Woman has the only good DC movie. <laughs> and, <laughs> so true. And um, and the, and apparently the whole thing is about the Teen Titans want to have a movie made about mm-hmm. them. Yeah. And uh, and so they're they're going around trying to get that done. The, um, that's hilarious. Like, is it like one of those like shaky cam style? Like <laughs> I, I don't know, but yeah, I've heard. And and I've I've not been a fan of Teen Titans Go. I, I really yeah. like the the original Teen Titans cartoon. Love it. Uh, I was not a big fan of how they went way more childish with Teen Titans Go. Because mm-hmm. um, they, they had some really dark elements to the original yeah. cartoon. Speaking of the original, mm-hmm. there was talk of if the Teen Titans Go movie did good, they'd bring back the original one for a sixth and final season. Okay. And the, I guess Teen Titans Go movie did well enough. That oh, I think, nice. I so think it was renewed for yes. that last that's season. Awesome. Oh my gosh, the child in me right mm-hmm. now. So I really hope that that's true. I just saw like something like, yeah, it's been renewed, but I didn't... No. So I really hope it's a and, way to watch the original. Like, is it um, on Hulu or Amazon or any one of the streaming? I know it, it was on Netflix services. for a while, and I don't know if it's. I don't think. It I don't is think now. it's on Netflix right now. Um, but I'm sure you can get the DVDs or something. It's, if it's you been to, forever uh-huh. and a day yeah. since I've seen that show. And if you've got Kayla, Boomerang shows it mm. pretty frequently. Um, and then there was. Did you ever see uh, Young Justice? Yes, I really enjoyed Young Justice. I thought that was yeah. really well done. That was a good one. Um, and I, I think, don't they have a third season of that coming um, out? Yeah, I think Netflix has renewed it because it got canceled, but then Netflix yeah. or someone, some streaming place Picked bought it. it. Yeah. And that was one of those that was, uh, it was so good. Yeah. And and another one where it, it like hit some dark tones and yeah. stuff. And, it, and and that's something DC does well is hits these yeah. dark tones, and, and especially in their animations, and, and it's... And then they just cancel them. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like, this is doing really, really well. We got to cash out. We got to quit while no. we're ahead. <laughs> so, yeah, I don't understand why they keep doing this stuff, but... Like, and like not said, listening to, to their fans about it. They just need to hinge on some of those some of those darker plot lines that did really well, like the killing joke. Mm-hmm. Or, and, and things like that that really, like, hit home and resonated because, I mean, it was more than about... It was about more than just superheroes and super people with superpowers. Yeah. You know, and I think that's that's all good and well. But, you know, that's what Marvel's been n- nailing, nailing lately. Mm-hmm. It's just the fact that, all right, we've got superheroes, but they're also, like, going through, like, real things. Right. Like, look at the look back Black Panther movie. That was, like, a movie about a man's soul mm-hmm. that also had superhero in it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Which was one, probably one of the top five Marvel movies yeah. so far, mm-hmm. Black Panther. Mm-hmm. And I know a lot of people weren't sure about yeah. it. And, 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 and that's been the case with a lot of these Marvel movies. Like, I don't know. <laughs> oh, it's amazing. <laughs> yeah. Well, let's say, you know, look at Ant Man. Like, half the time I was like, all right, stop superheroing and go home right now. Like, you're going to lose your kid. You're going yeah. back to jail. Yeah. Stop superheroing right yeah. now. Yeah. What are you doing, man? Like, I, I don't even want to see your powers right now. Just go home. Stop <laughs> being a good person. Go <laughs> home. <laughs> yeah. So, that's all the Marvel movies this year. That was the last one of the year. Well, last and MCU then, movies. Well, yeah, sorry. Um, but then we have what uh, Captain Marvel's next one, right? Yeah, in, in March. Today. In March of next year, of next 2019. Year. Mm-hmm. And then the new Avengers, and then I don't know what comes right Spider Man. Is it the new Spider Man? Spider Man. Oh, by that Which time, I guess means Spider Man lives in Avengers. It, yeah. <laughs> they have already straight up said the yeah. next Spider Man takes place minutes after Avengers 4. Oh, wow. Yeah, oh, okay. wow. Like okay. straight up minutes. Mm-hmm. So. Hmm. Okay. That's interesting. My boy Spider Man's good. He's fine. He's going to be okay in the next Avengers. <laughs> I know this is uh, this, this next thing is, is is a little polarizing for people. Uh, I recently saw the new Jurassic World, mm-hmm. and I love every one of those Jurassic movies. Mm-hmm. Every one of them. I, I don't seen care any of them. Have you, what? What? Not what? only. What? I know, and and this is the reaction I always get, oh, and I'm man. so ashamed to admit it, but I have not seen any of the new Jurassic Park movies, mm. and that is because I have not seen any of the old. Yeah, not even the original. Very first. None of them. Oh, None wow. of them. Mm. We I, have the first four in this house. I know. Jackie actually specifically bought them because when I told her that, she's like, that is unacceptable. Mm-hmm. And this is an excuse for me to finally, like, because she'd been yeah. tampering with the idea of buying them. They mm-hmm. were on a really great sale, at, I think, like Walmart or Target. Yeah. And she was, like, on the fence about it. And I was like, I haven't seen any of those. And she's like, sold. 
<laughs> if you're going to force me, because apparently I now have to watch the Twilight movies, I've been told. I'm okay. sorry. Um... Don't do it. But if that happens, then you have to watch Jurassic Park. I have no dispute against it. I wanted to see the new ones when they came out. I'm a huge Chris Pratt fan, but everyone's like, you can't watch those, so you watch the originals. And I just never have gotten around to it. You're like the I only American who, totally like, when you can. see ripples in your glass, like, doesn't start looking around for a T-Rex. <laughs> like, you're the... I don't know. Okay. Okay. No. Let me process yeah. this information. <laughs> I know. I think it's, like, the most unattractive thing I ever tell anybody about myself. I haven't seen Jurassic Park. Oh, yeah. Ooh. And the you're response. One of those people. <laughs> Every time, like without yeah. a fail, I'm like, I know, I know, I know. Well, I've only seen the first one. I haven't seen any of that. Oh, yeah? yeah. We have all four. Or the first I've four. been told. <laughs> Supposedly in this house. Yeah. Really? So the one, the one where they like bring the dinosaur back to the city, that older one. That, that was one, number two. That one wasn't my favorite. Three was pretty good. Yeah. I like three. I two. like them all. They all have their, their things. Like uh, two was really, really good uh, while they were still on the island. Yeah. Um... And, and there's a lot of cool stuff going on there. And it's always not... My, my only regret for any of these movies is in the very first movie they introduced the Dilophosaurus, the one that spits. Yeah. And they never show it. In ever, ever, ever. Again. like, that was a really cool dinosaur. I know, man. <laughs> like, why can't you have... It's always raptors and T-Rexes, and I can't get another spitting scene. I just like the... I like the... Uh, I know what I said. Uh, pterodactyls. <laughs> mm-hmm. How they brought those in there. Like, that's, yeah. that's a terrifying and scary, like, oh, dinosaur yeah. right there. That's one like, all right, they're definitely out. Like, yeah. <laughs> they're out of the cage. Mm-hmm. And, like, they're getting off the island. And that's just something you have to worry about in every day to day life yeah. now in the Jurassic world is, hey, if I got to go to work, can I make it in my car? Like, <laughs> <laughs> am I going to get picked up by a, tra- by a pterodactyl? Um, we well, yeah, saw the new one recently, and I, I really enjoyed it, just like I always do. Yeah. <clears throat> And, and I'm sure it has its flaws that I'm not looking at because it's got dinosaurs and I don't care. Yeah. Um, <laughs> the little kid, he's like, yeah. Yeah, that, that's literally dinosaurs. all I want from a Jurassic Park. If they ever make a Jurassic Park movie that doesn't have dinosaurs, obviously I'll be pissed. No. As long as it's got dinosaurs, I don't hey, care. When? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it, it could be dinosaurs <laughs> on the moon. Great, dinosaurs yeah. on the moon. Let's watch it. Yeah. <laughs> Write that down. <laughs> Write that down. <laughs> um, Pat and Penny. <laughs> don't steal our idea <laughs> unless you can do it better than us then by all means go yeah, for just it. put my name on it I want 20 bucks free tickets is, I'm like, uh, <laughs> just invite us to the premiere and we're good. Yeah. Yes. I have many other ideas about other animals on the moon so I just have many ideas of dinosaurs in just random places like <laughs> we need to do we need to <laughs> if we can learn every <laughs> collaboration time mm-hmm. T-Rex in the pantry oh, how did you get there <laughs> <laughs> I feel like that was always a fear as a kid. Did you ever have those unrealistic fears? I yeah, I yeah. did. I remember uh, as a kid feeling like there was alligators under my bed. Yeah, mm. for me it was the it was the <laughs> yeah. whale from Pinocchio, like Monstro the whale. Yeah. Like, and it was the strangest thing because like I'd go to the lake or the beach and be fine. Mm-hmm. Wasn't scared of him then, but like I would jump like from my bed every morning to the door <laughs> and run at it. Yeah. And my mom was always like, "Oh, she's just in a hurry to go to school and learn." No, I was like so dead sure <laughs> that monster the whale was gonna just eat me alive. Yeah. Mine was know. mine was still really unfounded fear, but like I did grow up in South yeah. Georgia near the the, the Swamp where there absolutely, absolutely are alligators. alligators. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, you don't know where they live under a bed. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. I'm a child. I don't know. Yeah. Um, I don't know how they got in my house or how they got so far from the swamp because it's not like we lived in the swamp. You don't we know like that alligators are like master away. lock pickers? I guess. I have seen a great picture online where it's like an alligator at, a, at someone's front door. I've like, seen that one. Like, have you heard of our Lord and Savior Godzilla? <laughs> <laughs> I have not seen that. <laughs> oh, God. But yeah, I don't know. Either you guys have like weird... I was always afraid of whether it be like in real life or a video game, movie, TV, whatever, that there was something in the water. Yeah? Just yeah. Yeah. something, something big, scary that would kill me. Yeah. Like, Even like in always un- afraid of found that. in places like a swimming pool. Mm-hmm. I remember like as a kid, you're like... I know I shouldn't be scared to jump in the swim pool. I can literally see every corner. And there's lights. And there's yeah. light. <laughs> it's yeah. daytime. It's daytime. <laughs> there's like 15 other people swimming yeah. in it. <laughs> but I'm not so there's sure. There's a shower. <laughs> there's yeah. a drain. There, and there, there could be something that comes out of that drain. Yeah. And goes after me specifically. <laughs> and I remember, like, actually one of the things I would do with my friends was we would go into the woods and there was this creek that we would uh, oftentimes wade through and it was, like, up to our, like, our hips. Yeah. And, um... I never felt scared of that. 
But <laughs> that's where the alligators the alligator. for sure. <laughs> that's but how it's like, gonna get me. It's not in the water. It's waiting for me. Yeah, the water's where they think they're gonna be now. No. Surprise gator. Yeah. <laughs> I just, I just had the general fear of under the bed. Like, there's something under there. Yeah. I remember not knowing what side of the bed it would come out under. Right. So, like, I would always sleep on my back, so I was ready from both sides. Like, <laughs> got you. <laughs> and every side is coming. I'm going to roll to the other side get out of here. gun in both hands. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And I always knew there was nothing under my bed because all my shit was under there. You can't fit something else. Great survival like, technique. Yeah, anytime I, like, anytime I was like, you need to clean your room, like, you got it. <laughs> under the bed. Good luck getting me now, baby. Again. <laughs> Wow. <laughs> I, I don't know. I remember too at the bed, I had like this weird theory like you were fine as long as none of your limbs were hanging out. So if I like woke up in the middle of the night at all and just like a foot was out, I was like, no, oh, no, no demons. <laughs> Not today. <laughs> but it would be like the middle of July. I remember this one very specifically. Uh, I watched that Tooth Fairy movie about the yeah, yeah. Darkness um, Falls. Yeah. About the girl. And I like, I just lost. A tooth like a week before that and mm. i was like you know she didn't come but i hadn't seen the movie yet <laughs> <laughs> so right she could be coming any day i'm a real heavy sleeper and like the rest of the time i like I, for months i was just terrified but i specifically remember it was like july mm. and i was hot as hell and i was like if i just like cocoon myself in my blanket and i did i had all my blankets and i was sweating yeah i was sweating my mom had like the strict rule about like the ac does not go above or below 75, so mm -hmm. I was just like dying, and I'm like, it's okay. Yeah. It's all right. Did you guys I'd rather die of exposure than that. Darkness Falls? No. Uh, Darkness Falls was actually a really good PG 13 horror movie. Yeah. That's real. Um, hmm. That was about the Tooth Fairy, and, and the theory was if you ever look at the Tooth Fairy, she will kill you. Oh, wow. That's <gasps> terrible. And yeah. if she doesn't kill you, she's going to be coming after you for the rest of your life. To Which will end you. when she kills you. Oh my god. Um, what if and you killed her first? And it's only at night. It, you can't. Because she's essentially a, a spirit. Yeah. Um, so. Ghostbusters. And yeah, well, they didn't exist in this particular universe. Like you couldn't ever. Male or female. Um, have the lights off. Yeah, she, she, would, she could only be in the, in the, in the darkness. Dark. And so, like, this kid sees her at the beginning of the movie and, like, he's able to get away from her, but she kills his mom. Uh, so for the rest <laughs> of his life. He stays in the light all the time. He has, like, it shows, like, 15 years later or something, and he's living in an apartment. It's completely white. Everything in his apartment is white. Lights are always on. He has, like, um, all these flash, like, a backpack full of flashlights <laughs> with, like, the batteries. Like, they're all D batteries that he's taped together, so he can easily just, like, pff, slip a whole new one in there and, like, screw back on, light on. And, uh... And it's about like him having to go back home because someone else saw the tooth fairy and he like trying to save them now. Yeah, and, like teach him the ways of the. And and for a PG thirteen movie, it was great. I don't know it visually really if well it's done. aged well, but yeah, it it was terrifying. And I, that was the first scary movie I ever saw. Mm -hmm. I was like ten years old. That's it was amazing. terrifying. It was absolutely terrifying. Yeah, I'm trying to think of one that got me. What's my first like scary movie? I feel like, uh, you know, I think it was an episode of MacGyver. <laughs> I had the chicken pox. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. And it was an army ants, and he's like trying to, it was MacGyver trying to fight army ants. Like, the one where the ants, like, like, made an island and floated across, like, yeah. some water or something? Yeah, and, like, you know, know, he, you know, he, like, takes some toothpicks and, like, some, <laughs> like, paper clips, and he makes himself, like, an <laughs> ant-proof suit. And, but I had chicken pox, so, like, all for the next three or four days, like, oh, like, I just thought, you know, yeah. like, the itchy, like, the ants, like, so, like, right there, that, like... Just to, to this day, like every time I see it, I'm like, "This is it." <laughs> oh God, I wish I remember how he made that suit. <laughs> Should have been paying attention. Bring me rubber bands and paper clips. I think. I don't know. You know, there was a. Uh, I don't remember the first. I don't remember the first scary movie I saw. I, I remember the first R-rated movie I saw, and it was Outbreak mm. um, with Dustin Hoffman and Cuba Gooding Jr. Yeah. I think. Okay. I think so. And uh, I saw it in right. the theater, and I was surprised they let me in. <laughs> because I think I think I was like 13 or 14 or something and um, I was working for the school newspaper I was doing like movie reviews and stuff and that was like one of the movies they, they chose for, for me to go see and so and my parents didn't want me to go see it because they're good Christian yeah. people and they you know, it's, it's an R-rated movie. Like the school tour. Uh, I listened. It's, it's a school project. I, yeah, people I didn't tell them that, them that I had like. I was yeah. like, yeah, that one. Because <laughs> <laughs> so, I mean, it wasn't like yeah. it was a bad movie. It was not people no, having no. sex and like all this. It was just you know, it's just like you know, some yeah. people's face melting off like from weird diseases. Like yeah, some monkey spit. I don't uh, know. It was actually a really good movie. It's actually a pretty good movie. Mm -hmm. 
Well, Albert movie? Actually, to watch that with my stepdad. There would be times, and I don't really understand to this day, mm -hmm. like my stepdad would just be sitting there and he'd be getting kind of drunk and nostalgic <laughs> and like a movie would come on and he'd just be like, hey, like, where are you? I'd be like anywhere in the house be like, this is important. This is an important <laughs> piece of like pop culture. Sit right. down and watch this and be like, I have homework. That can wait. Like Apocalypse Now comes on. He's like, come watch this. Right. What are you You're doing? Like, oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> and so... I don't know, it was kind of the greatest thing, because my mom would be like, tell you how we're like, Dad said I had to watch this movie. It's really important. It's really important. What was the first scary movie you ever saw? I don't know the first scary movie I saw, because, like, I just watch scary movies. Mm. Like, I've seen, like, if I see one, it's like, oh, okay, whatever, I'll go watch it. But, like, I don't really remember, like, the very first one. It was yeah. probably, like, one of the paranormal activities or something, okay. or something spooky, like, spiritual. Yeah. Spooky. Because, like, with horror movies, I don't like the gory ones, mm -hmm. you know? Mm -hmm. I like the mm -hmm. the hor like yeah. the supernatural ones or, like, aliens and yeah. stuff like that. That's what's really scary is, like... Yeah. I agree. Because you can do so much with that. While with horror, it's like, oh, that's only scary because you just got all your fingers cut off yeah. and I had to watch it. Yeah. 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 It's not even scary so much. It's, it's just, just unsettling. Ugh. Yeah, it's just gross. Gross. Yeah. Yeah, like, I and can't that... do the saws. I don't understand mm -hmm. how or why so many of them were made. And see, that's... that's Something that comes up a lot when, when I talk about scary movies to people, and I love the Saw movies because so much of the gory stuff isn't actually in the movie. It's mm -hmm. in your mind. Yeah. Like, they show you just enough for you to know what's happening and then cut to something else, and you're like, ugh. Yeah. But they didn't actually show it to you. Mm -hmm. And I always and I always like that about those movies. Yeah. Especially, like, especially the early ones. Um, some of the later the ones have a bit more blood, great, but yeah. like... I really, I've always enjoyed the Saw movies, and I like how they all connect up. And I like how they were like, okay, here's what we said, and so now we have to make a movie where it connects to that. And then, because they didn't plan for these movies to happen like this. Mm -hmm. Like, for them all connect like that. There was like, okay, so, what are we doing? Oh, it's all canon, okay. right? Yeah. <laughs> cool. This one will okay. happen first. Yes. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, because um, I agree. Like, it definitely is. It's got the psychological elements. Mm. I mean, yeah, there's the gore, but it's it's almost like a like seven, like yeah. one of those like classic like, you know, it's gonna take you on the on that middle ride, more so than they're like, oh god, I hope I hope I don't get stabbed by like you know a giant forklift or something like whatever right. weird gory <laughs> thing they're gonna throw in for the next. Yeah, I did. I did watch Hostel. Which I wish I hadn't. Oh, yeah. Because it's hostile. No. You've never heard of it? Yeah, that's, no. a, that's, a, that's a gory one. It's that's a movie a about one, these man. kids that go to somewhere in Europe, I think, like Western Europe yeah. or Eastern Europe, mm -hmm. and they stay in a hostel, oh, um, where, you know, where people just stay, you know, while they're traveling and stuff, and they end up getting kidnapped uh, by this group that puts them in this place where, people, like, very rich people just want to torture and kill people, oh. and mm -hmm. it's it's absolutely disgusting. Yeah. Um. And I saw it in the theater, and I, I, the only reason I didn't walk out is because I paid money to see it. Right. <laughs> <laughs> um, human centipede. That was. Just I will not watch that. Speaking of movies no, like that and Saw, me. the creator of Saw has, I read somewhere, he said that he could not sit through the movie Raw, and because it was just too hmm. much for him. What's Raw? It's about this like, I don't know. She's like a student. She's like trying to be like a vet or something. Mm -hmm. And, like, as a hazing, they make her, like, she's, like, a vegetarian or something. Like, that was a big point of it. And yeah. they make her eat, like, suspicious meats or something. And oh she just, gosh. like, gets a taste for, like, oh, I love meat. And it <laughs> goes on to cannibalism. Oh, God. But apparently to such an extent, the creator of Saw is, like, I cannot sit through this movie. <laughs> <God>. <laughs> and apparently a lot of people, like, they had to give refunds or something because people got sick, threw up, had yeah. to leave the theater. Oh my it was God. it was bad. I, I if it was banned. I'm not gonna oh. watch it. I think it's on like Netflix or Hulu or something. Oh. Jesus. <laughs> yeah. They. I know they your made... Hulu homework. Oh. <laughs> I know yeah. they made another hostile movie, and I was like, no, nope, no point in seeing that. Mm -mm. I don't need. I don't need that in my life. And there's there's several others where it's like I know a lot of the trauma oh. films are are super gross, like. Toxic Avenger and stuff like that, which were just just shock value yeah. is all they were. And I know there are people that really like those movies, and that's fine. It ain't me. Mm. Yeah, but you know, at this point we have the internet. Like, what? Like, in order to get to like a level of shocking now, like mm. you have to really push that scale. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Now they used to be like shocking. It was like, oh, here's some like fake like pig blood and yeah, oh, some like intestines we go to the butcher shop. 
oh god like <laughs> and that was that was that was like hardcore now it's like you're watching like i don't know i don't even want to get into it but right. did you see the video of the dude getting decapitated yeah man it was just whatever yeah it's i mean you know uh, rough <laughs> yeah sometimes every now and then i'll go through the internet and i have a moment of clarity where i realize that i've hit a rock bottom mm -hmm. and every time it happens i never realize it until i'm there and the most recent one was i happened across a video i told brander about this i might have told you about it uh where this lady was talking about the pros and cons of fucking her dog you mentioned it to me, and I, re I recall not wanting to hear more about it. Yeah. I didn't want to hear more about it then. Yeah. I'm not clicking on this on this no. article. But, like, <laughs> the fact that it existed was, you know, just enough for me to, like... It was so bad in so many ways that, Dave, I didn't tell you. I went to church the next day. <laughs> like, I just picked a church, went there, and they were like, oh, is this your first time? I was like, yeah. And they were like, why are you here? And I just... I, just I like, saw this video. I need to yeah. be clean. <laughs> Just, I just oh, need wow. to be clean. <laughs> Cleanse my soul, please. Yeah. <laughs> you know, like I'm surprised it exists. I'm also surprised you read the article. Like, yeah, <laughs> you know, like, at some was, point, it, like was it an article? It was, or it was video? an article. It was a video on YouTube. Oh, like she wasn't. Okay, maybe, maybe. I want to be really. It was a, it was a demonstration. I want to be yeah. really clear that it wasn't a demonstration. It was just a girl talking about it, and I don't know why, but I just like. It was kind of like, you know, a garbage fire or a car accident. <laughs> like, it's terrible, it's awful, but you can't look yeah. away. And if so it was, I was a demonstration, like, right. it wouldn't have been on YouTube. Yeah. Yeah. Totally. yeah. Put so. that stuff on uh, World Star. I guess, I mean, I guess it's true. Like, I fell in some pretty weird holes. Yeah. Like, I, I the other one, like, I'm like, you know, we're just talking about the, the whole, like, under the water thing. Like, I definitely mm -hmm. have, like, a fear of open water. I spent, like, an hour on Reddit on, like, a like a site that is basically <laughs> nothing but, like, pictures of, like, open water. Yeah. <laughs> like, weird stuff underneath, like, the right. surface. Like, <laughs> it's, I, I love telling this story. Like, uh, I, I grew up in South Georgia around, like, uh, St. Simon's Island, mm -hmm. Jekyll Island and stuff. And, you know, that's where I learned how to swim was in the ocean, yeah. like, in the, in the water down there. Right. And then when I grew up, I found out third largest shark breeding waters in the world. Oh, wow. And I was like, thanks, Mom and Dad. <laughs> Good job. Like, you made it. You made it. I still love the ocean, though. I don't. <laughs> yeah. I don't have a problem with water Man. at all. But um, I mean, I just waded through creeks where alligators Shucks were. Are just some sea puppies. Yeah. <laughs> just, just they only buy from right out. private parts. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> I did actually see a, a, a video of a surfer recently who. I can't do the show. Is it a like video? he. Uh, like it, it's like he's just like on his board, just kind of swimming mm. towards a wave, and a shark comes up and just like bites his board. And he's like, "Fuck!" <laughs> Such anxiety. Anytime, like I did, I got stuck in a video stream of another one of deep sea divers encountering sharks, and every time I was like, "He's gonna die." Yeah. yeah. <laughs> the film just gonna cut See, out. That's gonna be it. I have seen. I saw a cool video once where this woman was swimming with whales, and I don't remember what kind of whales they were, but they were, you know, whales. Them. They're not small. Um, and they kept, like, this one just kept pushing her and just, like, pushing her through the water. And, and she'd, like, try to go and just, like, kind of, like, get her with a fin and just kind of push her through. And then she found out, like, a little yeah. while later, it was protecting her from a shark that, like, a tiger shark that was in the area. Oh, wow. Like, it was just kind of, like, behind them, just, like, kind of coming towards her. And, and, and the whale's like, nope. Hey, no, nah, this, is, this is my people. <laughs> I've adopted it. It's not my over here. <laughs> go over here. Come go on. find your own. Yeah. yeah. But... If I get really hungry, I shall name you Squishy, I shall, and you shall eat mine. That would work. Now, if the beach is like a, a doubly bad place for me, like I'm a ginger, so I'm gonna get a sunburn, right. and I might also get eaten by a shark, like, yeah, and or some kind of kraken. I don't know. I don't know what's <laughs> there, like, Something's out there. Yeah, it's uh, not happening. <laughs> I've never, I've never actually. Hey, man, how's it going? <laughs> We're gonna cut you off. Do it. <laughs> but uh, I've never had. The the worst experience I've ever had at at the beach was I got stung by a, jel a jellyfish. Did yeah. you pee on your leg? Did that. you like immediately pee on your leg? Well, it wasn't on my leg. It oh. was on my chest. Did you pee on your chest? <laughs> it's no more difficult. Did you immediately yeah. pee on your chest. <laughs> no, it turns out you can get like meat tenderizing powder and put it on there, and that'll that'll mm. help. Um, Do you have a scar? Do you have like a pool of chest? No, it wasn't. It wasn't anything serious. It was funny because I was out I was out with my dad, and we're like we're just kind of swimming around the ocean, whatever. He goes. It's funny, the salt water kind of makes your, your nipples tingle. I was like, it does, doesn't it? That's weird. And I was like, am I tingling a little worse than it should? And then, like, I like ah. came up out of the water, and there was this, like, this, like... Like a design, <laughs> design of tentacles across my chest. 
And I was like, that's not okay. <laughs> that wasn't um, there a few minutes ago. <laughs> so, that sucked. And then I got pinched by a crab one time. <laughs> um, I never had any of these things happen to me. Hey, way to go. The worst thing I think ever that happened is the undertone knocked off my bathing suit top once and I had to, like, do the walk of shame yeah. back to the... I've definitely had my bathing suit kind of slide yeah. down on multiple occasions. Um, you know, I did. Yeah. I was at the beach one time down in Tampa, and uh, one of the guys I was with was wearing this orange bathing suit. And we had all, like, there was a bunch of us around, and, and uh, he had gone out kind of far, and we were all split off doing our own thing. And eventually he comes back into the, to the shore, and these girls are like, do you see that orange dolphin out there? And, and like, what? And like, yeah, I was like, it's orange dolphin. It was weird. Just kind of like came up and did this thing. And it turned out he had pulled out his penis <laughs> and just kind of like gone backwards like this and had it just come up out of the water. <laughs> what? And they thought it was an orange dolphin. <laughs> what? <laughs> So, oh my god, so majestic. <laughs> it's a sea penis. It's <laughs> hard to take a picture somewhere. Did you see that orange dolphin? Yeah, I got a picture. That's not a dolphin. That's <laughs> not a dolphin. <laughs> oh my god. I wish I remember that guy's name. Oh, it's just how I'm tagging him. Yeah. <laughs> You know, he probably walked around and I was like, hey, you want to know what I did? <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, yeah. Orange dolphins. Don't trust them. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Okay. <laughs> I just... I needed that. <laughs> yeah. God. No. Yeah, All right. So... <laughs> <laughs> It's so hilarious as that was, it did bring the show to like a screeching halt. So. <laughs> I don't know where to go from here. I don't have anything to top that story. Yeah, no. Uh, no. Um, oh, will. man. <laughs> Damn. I know you, you uh, recently started a new show, right? Yeah. Uh, Castle Rock? I did. I just watched the first episode. I was pretty excited about it because I'm a huge Bill Skarsgård mm -hmm. fan. Uh, he was Pennywise in the new It movie, for those of you who are unfamiliar. And he was in uh, Hemlock Grove. I haven't seen that. That's a Netflix original show about vampires and werewolves and shit. Ooh, I might have to check that out. So it's, it's pretty good. I saw like the first two seasons, mm -hmm. and I haven't finished the third. Okay. But it's good. It's got him. It's got uh, Famke Jansen from she played the original Jean Grey in the X Men movies, mm -hmm. and um, several other actors that I recognize that I can't think of right now. Um, a couple from Battlestar Galactica were actually in it. Um, I love that show. Yeah, that was a great show. Um, but sorry, go ahead with uh, Castle Rock. It's uh, it's Stephen King, right? Yeah, it's Stephen King. It's um, produced by J J Abrams. Mm -hmm. uh, he is. The director of the new Star Wars movies. Yep. Yep. And Star Trek. And Star Trek. Well, All the Star stuff. Seen. One of the new yeah. Star Wars movies. Only one? Mm -hmm. one? The episode eight was a Regan Johnson. Oh, okay. okay. So it was episode seven that was? Yeah. Okay. All right. And he's doing nine. Yeah. Gotcha. DJ Renzo? Yeah. Okay. Um, good to know. Jeremy said we've got to have a round. <laughs> <Yeah>. Facts. <laughs> Jeremy, the guy with the facts. Anyway. Um... Yeah, no, it's really thing. awesome. It's a great cast. Mm -hmm. um, I really, it's, it's cinematically beautiful. I've only seen the first episode. Yeah. It's intense, though. Um, I think I need more, though. Like, mm -hmm. I left with more questions. What's the show answers. about? Uh, it's based off Stephen King's stories mm -hmm. about Castle Rock. Uh, Shawshank Prison makes okay. another debut. Um, so it's just so far following different characters mm -hmm. uh, who are popular in those stories, which I have not read. Right. Uh, basically, I found out about it. Um, I follow the Nerdist podcast, mm -hmm. and about a year ago, they mentioned it. They were doing an interview with Bill Skarsgård, and he's like, oh, this is a project I'm working on. I was like, oh, that sounds interesting. Okay. So, now I guess I need to go read the stories. But yeah, yeah. really, really beautiful. Really, really well done. Um, I really think it's going places. Uh, I've watched a few other Hulu originals, like Harlots and... Um, 
The Handmaid's Tale, and yeah. I really love the things they produce. So. I've, the only thing I've, I've seen the the first episode of Handmaid's Tale, mm -hmm. and I was really I had no idea what it was before you told me about it. Mm -hmm. uh, I just thought it was some period piece or something, mm -hmm. and it's mm -hmm. not. It's no. supposed to be more or less now. Yeah, it's, it's just, just an alternate future. now. Mm -hmm. Um. So, and, and we've talked about it on the show before, but yeah. like, I, I just, uh, I was really impressed with the first episode of that that I saw. So, who Definitely. makes good stuff? They also did uh, Marvel's Runaways, which I really enjoyed. Yeah. Well, and I'm, sort of I'm excited yeah. for the, the second season. It's going to come out pretty soon. Let me check um, that out. Definitely check out or there, get so. more involved in uh, The Handmaid's Tale, too. Mm -hmm. They have season two out now, and mind blown. I'm actually really glad that they came out with Castle Rock when they did, because season two finale just went up on Hulu of The Handmaid's Tale, and my life is meaningless now. <laughs> So, yeah. it's got a lot of good, like a lot of actors are liking it too. Though it's got uh, the guy who played John Locke from Lost. Oh okay, yeah, the uh, little the redheaded kid from Shameless. Mm -hmm. The one who what plays what's um, his name? Not the I haven't seen kid, Shameless, so I don't know. Oh, well, it's the one who plays Ian's lover, Mikey, um, or mm -hmm. Mickey. Is it yeah, Mickey or Mickey? Mickey? Mickey. So, and he's he's a very talented actor. He's actually um, made a few good things. He's in Breaking Dawn, okay. very minor role, but very good one actor. One of the ladies from. Um, She's done a bunch of the American Horror Stories, isn't it? Mm -hmm. She's like, uh, I don't know what part she's gonna play though. She's like, she has, she had a very brief part so far. So okay. She's buying drugs. Oh, uh, yeah. I don't know if that's two. like a huge spoiler. Anything? Oh, Someone about drugs. Um, After school sorry. special. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So far, very spooky. Yeah. I don't really know because once again, it, I don't have like a solid answer. It just left me with so yeah. many. Questions. I've realized, which I think is good for a thriller. Yeah, I've realized over the years I don't know how Stephen King has time to do anything because apparently he just writes so yeah. much shit, mm -hmm. like, it's like, like way more than I ever thought that he had. Because um, I, you know, I mean, we all we all yeah. heard about you know uh, was it Carrie and Christine and um, The Shining yeah. and Shawshank and like all these things it, and, it, and 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 uh, that goes wait on, not on, Shawshank on. Yeah. Shawshank or the yeah. Green Mile. I, think he, I thought he did Shawshank. Maybe he did. I'm pretty he sure. He did Green Mile too, though, didn't he? Was that? Oh, yeah. Team team? I think it was. Um, I but there's so many. The stand. You know, just all, yeah. these, all these different things. And I was like, how does he have time to, like, live his life? Did apparently, he, do, he just does, he just writes all the time. Did he do The Mist, too? Uh, was I The Mist Stephen think King? So. I think it is Stephen King. Yeah. It couldn't be well, certain. Well, my brother's a huge, huge Stephen King fan. Uh, or was it The Fog? The fog. Maybe it's the fog. I don't know. I don't remember which one was him. And they're two different things. I don't know. But yeah, either way, like you know, just seeing his collection too is super impressive. Like mm -hmm. my brother, you know, he he's religiously like picking up Stephen King books. Yeah. And I didn't realize how many there had until like you know went over to his place a couple of years ago. There's like a bookshelf just like like a, just, like, a whole bookshelf. <laughs> like a whole like oh okay, oh yeah. like, oh he like, the dark he wrote tower, an entire like, library all this stuff. Yeah, the dark tower is supposed to be really good. This one my brother keeps trying. And they're to, all yeah. really good. It's not like he's. You know, just throwing them out there like right. James Patterson. Like, eh, it's the same story, different characters. Here you go. <laughs> yeah. Um, they're, like, all of his books are very in-depth, very yeah. poetic. I know a lot of them take place around, it, it's Maine, right? Mm -hmm. where, where a lot of his stuff takes place. That's where and, the Castle Rock series says it's yeah. the fictional town of Castle Rock, Maine. Yeah, it's where scary so. things happen. And mm -hmm. there's a lot, I don't even know, was Stand By Me, was that a book or is it just a movie that he did? I know he he did that one, which was wasn't really even scary. It was just it was just a good yeah. good mm -hmm. story. So I mean, if if, um, if he did either Green Mile or Shawshank Redemption, which other one, mm -hmm. both or maybe both, I don't know. Yeah, <laughs> but both of those are fantastic movies. Yeah, feel free to slam me in the comments below <laughs> if I'm wrong. Yeah, <laughs> I don't know. Which I'm not. Which I'm not. <laughs> I'm <laughs> testing, we're testing you. Yeah, yeah, you're always wrong. Fair. Yeah, even when you're right, you're wrong. Yeah. And also some kind of slur. <laughs> yeah. Ginger. Um, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's more or less the end of the show. What you, would you learn tonight, Brian? Ooh. Yeah, still don't go to the ocean. <laughs> like, just don't do it. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah. I don't know. I'm still hung up on Orange Dolphin. That's what I learned <laughs> today. And I'm a better person for knowing it, I think. I think we all are. Yeah. yeah. Jimmy Adam? Alligators are expert lockpicks. Yes. <laughs> they hide under your bed. You know, you're not going to expect them under the bed. No. And I learned something that I think I should have known way longer, and that's that Kate has never seen a Jurassic movie. Yes. 
That's We've actually terrible. talked about it. I don't remember ever talking about it. Maybe you blocked it out. You I must have because it, it infuriates me. <laughs> <laughs> uh, let's see. Big thanks to our uh, our patrons. Uh, we appreciate it. And if you want to become a patron of TalkieBox, you can go to patreon.com slash patreon. Uh, pa- sorry. Patreon.com slash TalkieBox. It's going to be in the description. You can just click on it. Um, you can win cool stuff. And by win, I mean technically buy it because you're giving us money. But like t-shirts, yeah. stickers, uh, possibly even come on the show. Or some other video that we do. <laughs> we do a lot. We went on a nature hike. We got stung by yellow. We all got stung by bees. Um... What else? Anything else? Nope. Nope. I got nothing. Nope. Good night, everybody.